There's a lot of controversy around eggs. For so many years, nobody can figure out whether or not eggs are healthy or bad for us. And so in this video, I'm gonna help you break down not only that burning question, but also how many you should eat a day. Hi, Wellness Warrior, I'm Dr. Zorowski, and the topic of eggs is always fascinating because over the years, so many people have told you to stay away from them because they're so unhealthy for you. And in fact, if you are gonna eat eggs, make sure that you're only eating egg whites. And so what do you do with all this? Sometimes it's very hard to take these different health topics and really break them down and know how to implement them in your own life because you're getting so many different opinions. And so we have different questions, burning questions like, should we only be eating egg whites? What about the cholesterol? And then how many, of course, should we eat a day? Let's dive right in. And let's talk about the cholesterol thing first, right? Because if we start eating three eggs or 12 eggs a day, aren't we gonna have some serious cholesterol issues? Well, the answer to that is no, because essentially what happens is the liver will just produce less cholesterol. Now, you may have kind of been told over the years that cholesterol is this awful thing that causes heart attacks in you and you should watch out for it at all costs. And the belief has always been that if you're consuming cholesterol, then and your cholesterol goes up, but that's not really how it works. And what was found in a lot of studies around utilizing cholesterol in the diet, if you consume more cholesterol, essentially what would happen is your liver would just produce less because yes, cholesterol is a healthy thing and your body needs it and your liver actually will produce it. So therefore, you increase your cholesterol intake through food, then your liver produces less of it and things balance out because your body is intelligent, right? So that's the cholesterol answer for you. But then the question becomes if you're eating six eggs a day, should you only be eating the whites because you don't want to get the yolk, which of course has that cholesterol in it. But no, the answer is we certainly want to be consuming the entire egg. We don't want to only be eating the egg whites because we just learned that that cholesterol is something we need. And of course your body knows how to handle it. So we should be eating the whole egg because the whole egg has a lot of different nutrients in it. So the first nutrient that you're going to find in eggs, when you're trying to determine how many you should eat, these are all things that need to run through your mind because it's like, do you want these nutrients? Do you want the benefit that the egg has to offer? So first is choline. Choline is extremely good for your brain health and your liver health, okay? So we wanna make sure that we're getting lots of choline in our diet, eggs are a good source of it, right? And when you look at the burning of question, are eggs healthy or are they not? Literally, I just had someone say to me the other day, they've never been able to determine if eggs are healthy or not. Well, look at these different nutrients in it and you tell me which ones are bad for you. And the answer is, they're not bad for you, they're good. So why would we deem eggs as something unhealthy if it's full of good things, right? Eggs also have lots of vitamin A, a whole spectrum of vitamin B in them, which is really good for the body, and of course, vitamin D, which is important for your immune system. Also loaded with antioxidants, okay? We need this to fight inflammation. We need this to fight off chronic disease. So this is a good thing. And then it has a beautiful, high protein, amino acid profile within an egg that's really, really good for you. And then lots of good, healthy fats that we want in our life. Now, the question becomes, well, how many of these eggs do we want to eat? Well, this starts to kind of break down to, well, how many calories do you need in a day, right? So you're going to find about 77 calories per egg. Okay. Well, that's not bad, right? If you're only eating one egg, that's only 77 calories. And if it's based off a, let's say, 2000 calorie diet, then that's hardly anything, okay? So we have to kind of look at how much food we're eating throughout the day and how much food we need. And of course, this would kind of play into this idea of how many eggs we should eat a day. So if we have 77 calories and we're eating three eggs a day, it's gonna be around 231 calories, okay? Now, that's something if you uh, are consuming 1,800, 2,000 calories a day, that's perfect. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, you could easily eat three eggs a day. Is your cholesterol gonna go up? No, because actually there's a study that showed that it didn't. And in fact, there's a study that showed eating three eggs a day helped indi individuals eat less food because eggs are satiating. They have this big, beautiful, high protein and fat profile in them that satiates you. So they're satiating. So you're eating less food, less junk food throughout the day. But they also found that it lowered insulin resistance. It improved your good cholesterol, and it actually made your LDLs healthier. It made the particle size healthier. So therefore, three eggs a day, according to the studies, 
shows that it's actually something really good for us. So then if we're eating six eggs a day, it's going to be right around 426 calories. Okay. That's a little bit higher. Now, if let's say you're intermittent fasting and you're going to consume uh, six eggs for lunch, right? You want to eat six eggs? Still not bad. Easily can fit that into a good, healthy diet. And then if you start getting up into 12 eggs at 77 calories, it's going to be around 924 calories. Okay. This is a lot of calories from eggs. And this isn't something that would be the best idea because you should get diversity in the food that you're eating. And the reason I say this is because a lot of times when we're trying to eat healthy, it's very easy just to kind of like fall into a category where we're just eating one food and really sticking close to that because it's simple and you don't have to think about it a lot. But the reality is we want to get some diversity of food. So we get diversity and nutrient profile. But if you're eating 12 eggs, it's about 924 calories. Okay. And if once again, if this is going to be your main meal of the day and you're right around a 2000, 1800, 2000 calorie diet, well then, uh, you can still fit that in. You can make it work. So when we look at the average person's lifestyle between three and six eggs is going to be the more ideal situation. If you're somebody who eats a lot of eggs. Okay. Now anything below this of course is just fine too. If you're eating one egg, two eggs, whatever, that is perfectly fine. Here's something to consider about eggs that nobody ever tells you. Eggs are one of those foods that pe people become highly, highly sensitive to, especially people with gut issues. Okay. What does that mean? That means that you're going to eat eggs and you'll become very bloated from them. You'll eat eggs and you'll have very negative reactions that will send you running to the bathroom. Okay. So as we look at eggs, understand that just because I'm here saying they are healthy and they're healthy from kind of the scientific breakdown standpoint and nutrient po profile standpoint, they may not be that healthy for you. So if you eat eggs and you see a negative reaction come from them, then you certainly want to make sure that you stop eating eggs because I work with a lot of individuals with gut health issues. Clinically, I find that many people are sensitive to eggs. So that's something to consider on your journey to better health, determining whether or not you should eat eggs. But on average, three eggs a day, six eggs a day or less is going to be the ideal place that you want to be. If you like this video, I think you'll really like this video next.